good old Mirage. We love him. Uh, we especially love his original 2006 Classics toy. Everyone loves it, honestly. Sure, he's a little oddly proportioned. Sure, he looks a little awkward. But he is such a fun figure, and you're going to see what he's all about in this video. But... Nowadays, we're living in the era of Transformers Generations, where we're trying to get figures that are as faithful and accurate to the original G1 source material as we can. And obviously, the old 2006 one isn't super faithful to G1. So, here comes Transformers Kingdom, giving us a retool of the original Siege Mirage um, that is in an Earth alternate mode. And um, this is an old versus new that's going to be a little bit of a flip because oftentimes in these I've kind of like debated like, you know, now that I have the new one, should I keep the old one? But this is a case where I, you know, before I filmed this video, I was kind of thinking, should I get rid of the new one? Because, <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, I definitely like both of these figures. And just a, just a, you know, a heads up, I am not going to get rid of the new one. I don't feel like it's, you know, that bad. And I feel like it's good to have a more accurate Mirage in my collection. But, you know, it's definitely, that says a lot about both of these figures, in my opinion. Especially says a lot about the original 2006. So you can already see the side-by-side -side comparison. Um, the original... 2006 classics uh, definitely had a reinvented design. Uh, he definitely was more lankier, more athletic looking, um, more slender, more streamlined. Uh, definitely not as faithful to Mirage's original look. Um, but I mean, he's still white, he's still blue, he's still, you know, a race car. He still looks great. The New Kingdom one is also pretty nice looking, honestly. Um, he doesn't really have any kibble. I really like how the wheels fold in on the back. I actually love that. Um, he looks pretty good. I mean, there's there's one major issue I have with this figure, and it might actually be an instance where it's the very first time I feel very compelled to buy an upgrade kit. But uh, yeah, um, let's just get into it. You can already see, like right now, this one looks a lot more like G1 Classic Mirage, and this one is like I've said a trillion times already, its own thing. So let's get into it. Let's see why this original Classics Mirage, as weird as it looks, is still regarded as one of the best, you know, modern deluxe figures of our time. So looking at that head sculpt, uh, that head sculpt's great. Um, it's a little small by today's standards, but that is a great sculpt. Oh my goodness. Um, I really like his proportion. Uh, it definitely is odd. It's not really what you would expect. Um, but I really like it. It just has this cool look to it. I like how the wheels are, like, swept up on his back. Um, I see why some people feel like he has a bit of a hunchback, because, I mean, he definitely does. But, I mean, he's got these big, broad shoulders. You can kind of have him more down. You can have him more up if you want. Um, he has a really slender waist. He just has such a unique form to him. He really does. Um, he just... I, I love how the little smokestacks come up when you bend the knee. It's such a cool little detail right there. Um, I love how the spoiler forms the ankle and actually gives you ankle pivot. That's amazing. His wheels are so nice and big and they're pinned too. The wheels are so satisfying to roll and to implement. Uh, I like his gun. It's an interesting look. I feel like it works for the gun. It almost looks like a bowcaster of some sort. I actually really do like how the front sort of scoop swoop thing, whatever. I'm not very familiar with race cars. Um, <laughs> I like how that looks for the gun. Um, I mean, what can I say, man? He's got a lot of little cool details on him. Like, you can see the little printing up there. Oh my goodness. 26. I mean, that's Mirage's number. He, ah, uh, it's, it's just so cool. FP Racing. It actually says Witwicky Spark Plugs on the spoiler. It's so cool. It's such a cool figure, man. Let's go over his articulation because this is where it's all at. So he has a ball joint at the head, and he also has a hinge at the head. So he can look all the way down. And he can't really look up too much, but he actually does have kind of a bit of a crunch, sort of. Where, like, you can kind of get him... Like, you can kind of work the, the transformation to sort of, like, give him a crunch. Sort of get him looking up a little bit more. Like, you can sort of work with it. His shoulders are on hinges, and they're on ball joints. 
He's got a bicep swivel. He's technically got a double jointed elbow, so that gives you a full range right there. Uh, in and out of the wrist. Swivel at the waist. These little hip skirts move up. They give you pretty much full range forward, full range out. He's got a single hinge at the knee, but if you use the transformation joint, it gives you a double hinge. And honestly, I feel like that works. It looks like just a big old like kneecap plate. I mean, it's a robot, so you know you can kind of dis you, you know dis. What's the term? Extend your disbelief. Suspend your dis. I can't remember, man. You, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, then I already showed off the ankles, how those can work. You can move them down, move them up a little bit. But all this articulation allows for some incredible posing. And excuse him if you see a little bit of water. Um, I've had this figure for a few years, and he was a little dusty and a little icky, so I gave him a wash before I filmed him. But yeah, I mean, you can get some really crazy poses. As uh, <clears throat> one of my favorite up-and-coming channels, Hey Man Reviews, says, um, you can throw some interesting shapes. Uh, <laughs> it's Seriously, check out Hey Man Reviews. He is so incredibly underrated. He's such a great channel. Um, yeah, like he can get him doing a karate kick. Just kind of got to balance him right. Look at that, man. They can like position his head so he's actually looking forward. He can move his waist. I mean, that is, it's incredible. It's an incredibly fun figure. And especially when this thing came out in 2006, it was basically the most articulated Transformer up, at the, up until that point. And I can see why it's so impressive and was so impressive. Uh, I love it. It's such a fun figure. And I have no problem having this be my one and only Mirage in my collection. If, if I had to come down to it, if I can only keep one of these figures, no doubt about it, it would be this one. But for my collection, I do like having some figures or at least having the option of having a more G1 faithful rendition. And if I don't knock into the camera trying to get my arm in, uh, this guy is definitely more G1 faithful. And it's a good figure too. I mean, getting in close on his details, he's got the red and the blue on his chest there. His head sculpt's also very nice. I wish it had a little bit of expression to it. I mean, Mirage is a pretty characterful character. So I wish he had like some sort of facial expression going on, but it's still a very good head sculpt. Um, oop! I totally just made him do the splits. Um, I was pushing down on him way too hard. I mean, his, I like the shapes of his arms, and I really like his torso. I think his torso looks really good. Orc. Um, I mean, his articulation is also very nice. I mean, with his ankles, you get the pivot, you get the up and down, you get the full knee bend, thigh swivel, universal, like, you get, you have all the articulation, you really do, I'm basically showing it all off right now. I mean, you get the hinge at the elbow, it's good posability, it really is. Um, I just feel like there's something missing. Like, some big key, like, character trait of G1 Mirage that's very important. Oh, yeah, his shoulder cannon. Oh, my mistake. He's holding it instead of having it on his shoulder. Well, here, let me just rectify this real quick. I know the Siege figure you could put this on his shoulder, so I'm sure you can with this one. You can't put the shoulder cannon on the shoulder. What? <laughs> what? The Siege figure could? Why couldn't this one? There's an upgrade kit that, like, there's a piece that plugs in right there, and it extends back, and you can plug it in. And guess what? You can still transform them with the upgrade kit piece in. They could have totally engineered it into the figure, but they didn't. Now, granted, you can plug it into the back of the arm, but that makes him look more like Megatron. No, we're going for Mirage here. He needs to have it right here. So I'm probably going to buy that upgrade kit, because when I got this figure out of the package, saw he came with the shoulder um, gun and was very excited, I put it on him, and it didn't work. I think, is it, isn't it his projector, though, maybe? Or it's not a projector, it's like his, he, it's maybe his cloaking device, is that his cloaking device? I don't know, it's his, it's his shoulder-mounted utility, <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it. It's been way too long since I've watched G1. His gun looks nice, though. Nicely detailed, looks good, looks good. Yeah, man, that was an immense disappointment. Immense. Um, I don't know what they were thinking. I really don't. 
it really holds this figure back. Um, it seriously was something where it was almost a deal breaker for me. Because it just seems so asinine, especially since the original Siege version could already do that. Why would they make a remold that's supposed to be improved that makes you want to buy the new version that doesn't have that? Because I skipped the Siege one. I knew this was going to happen. I knew they were going to retool all the Siege guys into Earth modes. I knew it. The only Siege figures I really got duped on were Ratchet and Iron... <gasps> were Ratchet and Ironhide, if my burps don't stop me from ranting. Um, and that's just because I needed a Ratchet and Ironhide that weren't crap ASAP. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, a pretty big bummer. Um, but still, it's a pretty good figure. It's it's a good figure, right? It's good. It's good. It's nothing special, but it is good. I think I'm gonna have to get that upgrade kit, though, because I just... It, it irritates me so much, especially if I'm gonna have this guy replace the old one on my shelf if I want a more accurate Mirage from time to time. Yeah, I, I need that on his shoulder. It's ridiculous. So, speaking of the old one, of the cool one, let's transform him. Oh, this is gonna be fun, and that is not sarcasm. Uh, this figure's so fun, man. It's actually been a quite a bit since I've transformed him, too, which is a crime. Um, because this figure is a real treat. It really is. Transforming him is nothing short of an absolute pleasure. Um, it, like, it's so fluid. It goes together so well. And the result is so nice looking. I mean, oh my gosh. You can already see where this is going, man. And then his legs. Ooh, look at that. Just look at that. Ooh, smooth. And then look at this. Ooh, I love how the spoiler comes together. Get everything all nice and squozen. Get that all up. Then you get this in to finish the look. Super easy. Super clean. Super amazing alt mode. Look at that alt mode. He does have the Classics rub sign. You can see that he is an Autobot. Yeah, man, look at this. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You can adjust the spoiler, too, because of the nature of what they are. Um, it, it looks great. Simply beautiful. You can see Lith Lithuanian drivetrain. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, look at him. Oh, look at the detail right there. Oh, like the silver. Oh, gorgeous. Abs and the smoothness. Such a smooth alt mode. Oof. Oh my gosh. Also rolls pretty nice too. Really just mind-blowing. This one on the other hand, it's uh, it's not bad. Um, I've transformed him a couple times. I think I remember how to do it. Um, it's definitely not as fun, not as pleasant, not as smooth. Um, actually, it has some things pop off on you. Um, you can see it does kind of do a similar thing with the legs where it has like some hinging for the, uh, you know, the back of the, the blue part, the main blue cab section of the race car. I think it's supposed to be like a Formula One style, but you can see right there it's just all white, it doesn't have the same detail, but I mean, we're, we're, it's not, I don't know, man, it's just the old one from so long ago was so impressive to me and still is to this day that... You know, it's it's hard to beat. This Mirage, this, you know, Kingdom one, and the Siege one had so much to go up against. It really did. And, um, you know, I can't blame it for not being able to live up. Because what it has to live up to is legendary at this point. Like, I think a lot of us, you know, Transformers collectors that have been in this for the long haul for a good, like, ten plus years or so... Um, we, we know how legendary the original Classics Mirage is to us at this point. And, you know, is <laughs> I don't really think the Siege or the Kingdom ever really stood a chance against it. Just because of its legendary status. Just because of being such an awesome and revolutionary figure, you know. But still, as you can see, the uh, the transformation on the Kingdom one is not that complex, not that painful. Um, I don't feel like things are fighting me. I feel like it goes together pretty quick and easy. 
Um, and it still does have a, light, a nice little connection for the spoiler. That's still pretty satisfying. I don't feel like it wants to fully tab in down the middle, though. I say as it fully tabs in down the middle. But yeah, here's his race car mode. And it's definitely not bad. Um, definitely not bad. I like how the arms form like the air intakes. I think that looks really good. I think the spoiler looks good. Um, the wheels look fine. Doesn't have all the little racing tampos um, that the old one does. Doesn't have the, you know, the windscreen. But it's it's still pretty good. It's still pretty solid. Um, it's it's not bad. But comparing them, I mean, one looks like a model car and the other looks like a toy you would find, you know, in a Happy Meal. <laughs> like, very basic blocked colors, especially for this. It's literally just blue, white, gray, black. And it's so blocked off and so unnatural. But this, there's a lot of paint, there's a lot of curvature. There's a lot of, you know, true detail. Um, without a doubt, the vehicle mode winner, hands down, is the old one. Hands down, the vehicle mode winner is the old one. Undeniably. No one can argue with that. Um, but, I mean, the old one does have some odd proportions in the robot mode, but they're also very, it's a very good figure, and it, you know, articulates well, and it's super fun. And the Kingdom one um, is, on paper, a very good Mirage. Um, it is absolutely insane that you cannot really do anything proper with the shoulder cannon. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Because um, as you can see, back here, those are the shoulders right there. That's the shoulder. Like, they hinge independently, and there's nothing really getting in the way. I mean, you could still have something there, like a peg hole for a gun i'm just saying <sighs> but anyways, there we go there's my old versus new on mirage um, my winner is still the 2006 personally um but at the start of this like before i filmed this video i was thinking i might actually sell off my uh, my kingdom one but after doing this review after doing this comparison it's not really a review i don't consider these reviews um, after doing this, I definitely feel like both of them have a place in my collection, for sure. Uh, I definitely appreciate them both. I definitely like them both. They both have something to offer me. Uh, I would definitely recommend the old one. <laughs> if, if you are between one or the other, I would say get the old one. But also, the Kingdom one is not bad either. The Siege one is also not bad. At least it doesn't have the shoulder cannon issue. You can actually plug the shoulder cannon on. It's so weird. It's so weird. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> there we go. I'll leave you guys to it. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to the patrons of Patreon. You guys are awesome. I very much appreciate your continued support. And that's pretty much it, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.